So we need a database and we do that uh, with MongoDB. We log in on the website. Uh, I did it actually simply with uh, Google. Uh, if you don't have an account, it's, you can make an account for free and then use a free tier. That's what we're going to do in this example as well. So easy, easy, easy. Um, I'm using my Google uh, to log in. So um, let's wait for that. And there I am. And you'll see I already have two. Um, here we go. View all products. I already have two projects. So we're going to make a third one. Uh, there we go. And we're going to give it the name of our app. Uh, now we flex. Go next. And in this uh, sheet, we're going to just actually just add create the project. The basic user is simply you. So don't worry about it. And then we need to have a database. So we're going to build a database. We keep choosing the free tier. Uh, I'm going to do it on Azure because I like to keep my stuff in the Netherlands where I am. And then I have to give the database a name or not. I can leave it like this. But uh, let's say this is going to be, uh, what was it? The uh, Maui uh, Flex. Cluster. Okay, let's create. This takes just a few seconds and you're already being presented by the next screen. So you have a username and uh, uh, needed. Well, actually, there's all your name filled in, my first name. And there is also a password uh, filled in. Uh, I don't want to go with the, uh, with the difficult password because I have to store it somewhere. So I'll take an easy one. Which you're not going to see. And when you click uh, to create, uh, everything disappears over here. That's fine. Um, and you can see that we have a user and a password already here. Now, where do you like to connect from? Well, local environment when I'm developing. And I am uh, having my e address already connected to this. So that's all good. Finish. Go to database. Well, actually, we're not going to database. We're going to the app service. We're going to make an app service for our app. We're going to pick here the real-time sync because we'll now have an on and offline database. Then the template is already uh, clear. We don't have to do anything over here. The database, because I made it first, is already uh, uh, connected. Uh, name your application. Well, this is uh, a default name. You can leave it like that, actually. But also this, I'm going to make the uh, Maui Flex. And then there will be ex something extra saved with it. To make it easy and the deployment model over here so create that's about uh, all the work that we have to do i will do over here at this point um yeah you can download uh initial uh templates because there's also uh, already something seated like a former to, to do app we're not going to use that so we're just going to close this and we're going to work for from scratch let's quickly see what's going on uh, we have something called device sync. That's what we need. And you see that we have flexible, which is recommended. Not a partition based model, although there's still a lot of inf info from about a year back, nine, man nine months back, that is uh, circulating. There's some videos. I, uh, I skipped this. I want to use this. Then the, de the dev mode is open. That's good. And then you can see where we at the defined database name that's actually with the free tier we get this seeded already so we're gonna leave it like it is it simply means the database for the rest is same the same we keep all of this so we can uh, we don't we don't have to stay here we're actually done for now let's go to the next video
feel free to like and subscribe. It is really appreciated. As are questions and suggestions or even improvements on my videos. Thank you for watching.